Hello and welcome back to my channel. This one has been on my list for some time. I've been told it is Q-W-E-R, not Quer, but Q-W-E-R. And as someone who is a big supporter, I just actually checked out two albums of uh, of K-Bands in One Wii and Day 6 earlier today. And now here we have a all-female band, which you just love to see. We've got our Rolling Quartzes, who I did see live and were absolutely excellent. I actually still have to check out their latest release. Um, but it's just so cool to see and also one to pick up tons of steam. 9.6 million views on this debut. And then their next song, which we're going to be checking out, TBH, has 11 million views. So that is just very awesome to see. You see but plenty of idols doing challenges with their songs and things like that. I, I just love to see that. Um, so let's finally check them out. Starting off with Discord, and then we'll get in To Be Honest, I'm assuming, TBH. Uh, so let's go. Discord is up first. Let's do it. Each letter represents a member. That makes sense. That does make sense. Oh, we're streaming. Oh, we're gothy. Oh! Oh, we've got budget! This, the, 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 the structure of this feels very J-Rock to me. Oh, like slightly math rocky, but not really. Wow, uh, they're all really cute. Instrumental is dense. We are hitting so many concepts in this. This is what I wanted to see. Is that a whale? Why are there so many whales in K-pop videos? That's a whale. It really does feel J-Rocky to me, absolutely. Which I'm normally not a huge fan of, but I do like this a lot. It has like this like stuttery uh, stop and start feeling of something like uh, Math Rock. I like it a lot. Um, I'm actually gonna watch that one over again. I just want to check um, for myself. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. That's good. A lot of these members are older. I was going to say, they're gorgeous. I just wanted to make sure <laughs> we're, we're good. Uh, yeah, very pretty. Wow. Let's watch this again. <laughs> Let's watch this again. Oh, okay. So we do have some former um, 
Japanese group members in this. Twitch streamer, TikTok influencer in this video. Yeah, this does seem like your uh, your social media influence kind of thing uh, in this video of what is perfect of what you see. We've done this a lot in K-pop, uh, but this being a bit more on the nose, I guess, with them literally being it, the influencer in the video. And also the song is called Discord. Join our Discord. You can join Patreon or Fourth Wall and you get automatic access. Just saying. I don't know what label that they're attached to, but they're doing things right. Man, and that is like such a small portion there. Yeah, she's our TikToker. We're doing little dances. You couldn't pay me to do one, I swear. Trying to play attention to the lyrics a little bit more. Their She is a perfect vocalist. Her mannerisms, I need to see a live performance because her mannerisms, it's, it's, just, it's the short hair heartthrob you get from when like we checked out March. It's, it's that same kind of thing hitting. She's really got it. Her mannerisms, her movements, all of it. I love her little walking jig. <laughs> and these are the outfits that they were wearing in the anime sequence. And I can see why that this became something that is big for for a, a new K band and that it's very palatable. I could see a large th this is this group for, you know, we got a lot of youngins in K-pop that enjoy this. This could be somebody's first exposure to any form of, of rock in any way. So I think that that is so cool. Um, and it's something to where this genre is cool because it crosses boundaries like that and gets people to check out music that they normally maybe wouldn't have or you know, exposes them to it. Uh, I think that's awesome. So yeah, really catchy, great song. That one was very quick too. It is just under three minutes. This one's longer at almost four minutes, at least the MV. So let's check out TBH, to be honest. Yeah, they're popping off in Korea. Oh, they're actually real Twitch streamers. Oh, oh, okay. Is that were they were they very popular Twitch streamers before they did this? Or I'm assuming so. That's interesting. I'm sure you'll see that become yeah. I'm sure you'll see that become more and more the case. Like me, I'm gonna hit a big. I swear. Oh my god. Yeah, and we're really blending the 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 pop and the rock here. This is the the Japanese influence here I'm feeling just wholeheartedly. This is stuff I'm normally not into. 
but I'm I'm keeping the mind very open here. I like the drum and bass elements. Oh man, these videos are really great! <laughs> Oh my god, this video is really good. Oh yeah, I mean, it... This is the most... J-Rock sounding K-Band that I think we've checked out. And the videos are so cute! Really well edited. The little bits of choreography. dude from Dragon Ball? Who's he supposed to be? I know they're supposed to be kind of like the people watching, you know, that it's really how a lot of Korean and Japanese shows go where there's the outsider watching the footage with the people. I don't know what you call that exactly. It has a name. It's like the OG reaction video. Yes. So I, I can see exactly why that this group is really popping off. It is not your typical just like rock band. It is not like Rolling Quartz that keeps things very more similar to my lane of, of rock that I listen to for sure. This is something that's much more palatable for I'm sure a lot of younger K-pop fans and people that are into a lot more J-rock and just pop in general. But I like it nonetheless as something that uh, is a style that I ooh, that is smaller than the last one. Maybe it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller um, as something uh, a, a genre that I'm not typically wholly into myself. I do really like this and I think that uh, they're incredibly charming and I would just like live performance of this that much more between these two. I don't know which song I like more might lean a little bit towards Discord, although the MV for TBH is really, really good. I just love how quirky and strange it is and how it's changing up every single second from one style to another style. You had a lot of hints of that in the first MV to where it seems like we were just doing concept after, after concept without really sticking to anything, which was a lot of fun, but they really, really ran with it with lots of different comedic elements in the second MV. So certainly a group to look out for, for me, absolutely. And I'm sure that there are albums that are associated with these for single album, Harmony from Discord. So the first release was a single album. The second one, it does not say down there, but I'm assuming since they've been around for at least like six, six months or so now that they do have something uh, out. Yeah, they do have an album and some live performances. 
The bald beard guy is their CEO. Well, that makes sense. He looked like the guy from Dragon Ball. I don't really know Dragon Ball well, so I don't know that dude's name in Dragon Ball. But he looked like the guy from Dragon Ball with a Hawaiian shirt. They have a mini album for TBH, yeah. So could be something uh, worth checking out now that I've done my uh, long, or rather my most uh, recent stream of a lot of uh, K-Band albums. That is another one that could be on the list. But I am interested for sure. Let me know your thoughts on QWER and if you have any more information on them, I'm in. Thank you guys so much for checking this out with me. Subscribe if you are new. Check out plenty of other K-Band reactions that I've done on this channel. It's a big thing. We checked out lots of Super Band over on Patreon and Fourth Wall. It's been a long time since we checked out Super Band and Super Band 2, but they're on there. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.